Hey guys, welcome to TechRoot Reviews. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up both the hardware and software on the Raspberry Pi. The process can be a little confusing, so I'm just going to walk you through step by step. To set up the Raspberry Pi, you need a few things. You need an SD card that is at least 4GB and Class 4. I'm using a slightly higher quality one, but it doesn't matter, it'll still work. You will need a micro USB cable that's providing at least 700 milliamps. If it's higher than that, it doesn't matter, so most cell phone chargers should work here. You will need an HDMI cable or some audio visual cables to output the Raspberry Pi to your monitor. The Ethernet cable is optional, but if you want internet, you will need to use it as the Raspberry Pi does not have Wi-Fi. And you will need a wireless or wired keyboard, although be warned some wireless keyboards require too much power and the Raspberry Pi can't power them. The next step is to format the SD card and install the operating system on it. To start off, you're going to need to download the SD formatter tool. I'll have a link down below in the description. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it up right now. So you now need to choose what SD card you want to use. When you're choosing, be very careful because if you choose the wrong one, all of the data on it will be deleted. It is very important that you select overwrite format and also go under options, select yes, which makes it so even though the card is being formatted on a Mac, it will work on the Raspberry Pi. And if you feel like it, you can name the SD card, but you don't need to at all. Next, just hit the format button and wait for it to finish. It does take a little while, so don't worry. It takes me about a half hour for an 8GB card. Now that the SD card is finished formatting, it's time to install the software. I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's for a download for the Noob software. It does download as a zip file, and you will need to extract it. To do that, you double click on it. Once you've extracted the file, go into the extracted folder select all of the files in there, and then drag those over to your SD card. But make sure you go into the folder before you copy it because if you copy in the entire folder, it won't work. Once you've copied all of the files over to your SD card, it's time to finally put it into the Raspberry Pi. Once you've connected all of your appropriate cables, insert your SD card, it slides underneath the Raspberry Pi, and plug in your power cable. After a few seconds, the best way to see if it is working is these indicator LEDs should all begin to flash. As you can see, they all just sprung on there. I'll turn the light down so you can see a little better. Once you've plugged all the cables into your Raspberry Pi and into your monitor, which can be a little different for every monitor, you should be able to switch the input and see your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I have successfully booted into the Noob software. While you can install any of these operating systems, if it's your first time, I recommend installing Raspbian. It's the main port that's meant for the Raspberry Pi and it runs the best and you shouldn't have any problems. So to do this, you simply select the box next to it and then hit install. The warning, you should read it, but it's just saying that it will overwrite the data on the SD card. Hit yes if you know that's what you want to do. And now the Raspberry Pi will install it. Once again, this does take a while and will depend on the speed of your SD card. After the reboot, there should be a menu with lots of options. The first option, you don't have to do anything as it has already been done if you use Raspbian. The first thing you have to do is go to change user password. You do this by navigating with the keys on your keyboard and then hitting enter. When you're typing your password, make sure you type it right as it does not show up. And it will ask you to confirm your password. After you've done that, the last thing you need to do is go to the Enable Boot to Desktop, hit Enter, and you'll want to go to the second option, which is Desktop Login as User Pi at the Graphical Desktop. Hit Enter, and you're finished. Now you can go down to the Finish tool, hit Enter, wait for a Reboot, and then you'll be done. So that's the complete setup guide for setting up your Raspberry Pi with a Mac. If you guys like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out, and I really appreciate it.